I'm Hugh Collingbourne, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. Here I'm going to show you how to create a simple multi-screen Android application using Amethyst in Visual Studio. My project is based on a tutorial for Adobe's IDE Flash Builder. You can find the original tutorial on the Adobe Developer Connection site. Here I show you how easy it is to create the same application using Amethyst. Start by creating a new mobile application. File, New, Project, Amethyst, Mobile, and select Mobile View Application. Amethyst displays the mobile wizard, and you can select the desired platform, browse to the SDK if you haven't already done so, and select a key store if you have one available. A key store is a security file needed for Android deployment. For now, I'll assume you haven't previously created a key store, and I'll show you how to do this shortly. If you want to save all these settings for reuse, check Set as Defaults, and then click OK. Amethyst creates a new project with a main application screen defined in this MXML file. As it's a view-based mobile project, it also creates this views directory. And this contains a home view file which has been ready defined. The application file will auto load the home view by setting the first view tag, which is seen here. I also want two other views, so I right click the views directory and select add new item. There are lots of item types here, but for my purposes, an empty MXML file is fine. So I add one of these and I call it screen1.mxml. And then I do it all over again to add another view, which this time I call screen2.mxml. To move things along, I've just pasted in the MXML code from the sample project on the Adobe site, making sure that the name of my home view file in the first view tag here matches the name of my home view. And now I'm almost ready to run. I just have to create the key store which Android requires for deployment. So I load Project Properties, Deploy. I select Key Store and click Create. And here I just enter a name, a file name, and a password. And that's it. I now just run the Android SDK Manager and start a virtual device. If this is all new to you, we have more information on getting started with the Android SDK on our website. Now, after a while, this pops up the Android Emulator, which is a software simulator of an Android hardware device. Now I'm ready to start debugging. I've added a bit of program code in the Click Event Handler for the button on the home page. So, let's add a breakpoint in the action script. And I'll also add a breakpoint in the MXML of the view design. Now, after a while, the emulator pops up and it will display the home view. So now I can click the button and the MXML breakpoint is hit. I press F5 to continue and my action script breakpoint is hit. And now I can step into and over, I can navigate the call stack, I can view watch variables and locals, and in the editor itself I can drill down into objects by hovering and use all the other features of the Amethyst Cylon debugger. So that's how simple it is to create and debug a view-based Android application in Amethyst. For more information and tutorials on using the Amethyst IDE for Flash, Flex, Air and Mobile design, debugging and deployment, visit the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.